the bold and the beautiful spoilers for Tuesday, November 12th. Tease that Hope will continue her frantic search for Douglas at Forrester Creations. As BB viewers know, Hope is very concerned about where Thomas might have stashed Douglas. In fact she was so worried about finding him that she did something that could have serious ramifications. As BB viewers witnessed, Thomas and Hope were arguing on a catwalk in an industrial area of the Forrester building. Thomas leaned in for a kiss and Hope suddenly shoved him aside and as she ran off, he fell into the vat of steaming liquid below. BB viewers have been led to believe that the steaming liquid was hydrochloric acid that was being used by Jack McLean to clean the washing machine elements. Yet after Thomas fell into the liquid, he was shown floating to the top and clearly not burning as he would be if he had fallen into acid. Could Thomas have fallen into some steaming water or a cleaning solution that went into the vat after the acid was removed? At this point, it's a mystery as to whether Thomas will survive. And this comports with the spoilers for next week which indicate that Thomas will be considered missing by Steffi. At any rate, on Monday's episode of BB, it looks like Hope will continue her intense search for Douglas around the Forrester building. It looks like Hope will find Douglas and he'll be okay. But when she goes to look for Thomas afterwards, she'll have no luck. The bold and the beautiful spoilers indicate that Hope will fear the worst when she can't find Thomas. Will she head back to the industrial area where she last fought with Thomas? If so, she might realize that she shoved him awfully close to the vat of liquid, and that might get her worried about Thomas' well-being. But will she disclose to anyone what actually happened? Meanwhile, on Tuesday's new episode of BB, Brooke and Ridge will find themselves at a stalemate. As BB viewers know, Ridge and Brooke have been arguing again about Thomas, and they're both getting pretty tired of going around in circles. Brooke is adamant that Thomas is unhinged and an unfit parent to Douglas, and she thinks that Hope has got to step in and seek custody of Douglas for the boy's sake. But Ridge disagrees, and he thinks that Hope has no business trying to adopt Douglas. As far as he's concerned, Douglas has a family, the Foresters, and they can take care of him. But it doesn't seem like their stalemate will last forever, since it looks like things are going to get much worse for the pair. Ongoing BB spoilers indicate that Hope will soon announce that she's Douglas' adoptive mother, and Ridge will hit the roof. He'll finally realize that Hope had a devious plan in place to manipulate Thomas. So things are going to get much worse for Bridge before they get better. Bold and the Beautiful Spoilers finds that we may know him as Dr. Jordan Armstrong, but Vincent Irizarry is no stranger to the world of soap operas. He has been acting on daytime television for decades and now he is ready to spill the beans about what keeps him going and what keeps him in the world of soaps. Irizarry is no stranger to playing doctors on soap operas. He starred as Dr. Scott Clark on Santa Barbara and on All My Children as Dr. David Hayward. He is known as one of the most iconic soap opera stars and his career simply started as brief guest appearances. That includes his first, small role on Guiding Light as Brandon Lou Vonixic. That was supposed to be a three-day role. They ended up giving me a few more days. And then I had a contract. The character took off. And it was kind of a phenomenon. He said about his first role. In the 1980s, Soap operas were having their heyday and were the most popular shows. 
That was good for Irizarry because he was ready to make a splash as a soap opera actor. He even gained superstar status then and he said it was crazy how much people loved soap opera stars back then. In 2007, Irizarry joined the cast of Young and the Restless. That part was supposed to only last for three months. But he ended up playing David Chow for two years. It seems that he has taken on some roles that became very popular among fans and he is not complaining one bit. We know how much we appreciate him as an actor and we love that he continues to work on daytime television. Not only for us, but for his fans as well. On Bold and the Beautiful Today, Liam and Beth spend time with Steffi and Kelly. Ridge and Brooke go over their issues. And Hope wants to know where Douglas is. On Bold and the Beautiful Today, Liam and Beth spend time with Steffi and Kelly. Ridge and Brooke go over their issues. And Hope wants to know where Douglas is. Brooke is surprised to see Ridge in her living room and greets him with a deep kiss. They miss each other. Ridge asks her to tell him Hope's not with Thomas to convince him to sign over his little boy. They debate shared custody and Brooke points out Douglas is afraid of his father. So Hope has every right to be concerned. Ridge wants to table the disagreement. But Brooke soon goes back to the scary things Thomas has done. He isn't capable of raising his son and is obsessed with hope. Ridge is hurt and insists Thomas is trying to make things right. Brooke doesn't trust him. She tells him how Thomas called her names. Ridge doesn't believe it and accuses her of wanting to punish Thomas. Brooke just wants him to get the help he needs and doesn't want him anywhere near Douglas or Hope. At the Cliff House, Steffi and Liam discuss their surprise about Hope spending the evening with Thomas and her attachment to Douglas. Liam understands her concerns about the boy. Steffi still has issues with her brother but knows their broken family was hard on him. She notes history's repeating itself with Thomas falling for a Logan-like ridge. At Forrester Creations, Thomas stops short of signing the adoption papers. Hope knows it's difficult but reminds Thomas he's giving Douglas the mother he promised him. You won't regret it. I promise. Thomas signs. Hope, thrilled, thanks him and wants to go tell Douglas. Thomas feels there's no rush. One of the reasons he signed was because he loves her and would do anything for her. He's given her what she wanted and expects that now they'll move forward together as a family. Thomas wants to celebrate. Hope just wants to tell Douglas and asks if he's in the building or if someone's looking after him. Thomas, frustrated, says, I knew you'd pull something like this. He warns she'll find out where he is after they've celebrated. Hope demands to see him. Thomas accuses her of manipulating him. Hope learns Douglas may be in a storage unit and vows to find him herself. She runs out with Thomas behind her. They climb the stairs above the vat of acid as Thomas calls that Douglas can't hear her. On the landing, Thomas insists the boy is fine and asks Hope to trust him. He wants to talk about them and goes over his regrets regarding Beth. Hope asks him to let her go but he keeps talking about being a family. Thomas places his hands on her arms and goes in for a kiss. Hope shoves him away and he goes over the railing into the vet below. Then surfaces, unconscious, 